then explains the rules of Sepak Takrao. The object of the game is for your team to win three sets faster than the opposing team. A team is made up of three players and consists of these positions. To win a set, you must score 21 points and be at least two points ahead. If the scores are 21-21 for example, the game carries on until one team has a two point lead, up to a maximum of 25 points. To score a point, you must aim to kick the ball, which is usually made of woven rattan or plastic, over the net and hit the floor of your opponent's court. The court is played on a similar sized surface to a badminton court, 13.4 meters long by 6.1 meters wide, and the net is 1.52 meters above the ground. These are the circles the players must stay in during a serve. If the ball is hit onto the lines, this also counts as a point. Hang on Nin, this kinda sounds like volleyball mixed with football. That's pretty much exactly what this is. Sabak Takarao is sometimes referred to as kick volleyball, and the general rules of volleyball apply, but with the same touching rules as soccer, i.e. you can touch the ball with your legs, body and head, but not your arms or hands. And just like volleyball, a team is allowed a maximum of three touches of the ball before it must go over the net and onto your opponent's side of the court. Unlike volleyball, however, a player may take all three touches himself. A team can opt to take less than three touches if they want to, and the game is a back and forth affair with both teams setting up the ball and attacking each other's court. In the sport of Sepak Takrao, however, it's very easy to lose points. There's a lot of things you can't do in Sepak Takrao. You cannot kick the ball onto the ground outside the area of play. You cannot kick the ball into the net and for it to land on your side of the court. You cannot touch the ball with your arms or hands. You cannot touch the net. You cannot lift your foot out of the circles during a serve. You cannot leave your circles during a serve until after the ball has crossed the net. And as earlier mentioned, you cannot touch the ball more than three times. All of these errors results in your opponents being awarded a point. Once a team has won 25 points and is at least two points ahead, they win a set. If both teams have won two sets each, the third and final set only goes to 11 points. Winning two sets before your opponent wins you the game. Now that's basically Sepak Takrao in a nutshell, but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, block. When an attack is imminent, defenders can jump in the air and try and stop an attack reaching the floor, and players will usually turn their backs and lift their legs to prevent an imminent attack. Spike. This is an attacking shot, usually made by lifting the foot above the net and kicking the ball in a downward direction towards the opponent's floor. These shots are usually difficult to stop. Roll Spike. One of the most impressive plays in the game is the roll spike. Players will generate momentum by jumping off one leg, rolling their bodies to kick the ball, and then proceeding to land on the same leg. They do something similar in Taekwondo called the 540 roundhouse, but in Tepak Takrao, this is a roll spike. Now this game seems ridiculously strange, but as you watch or play Tepak Takrao, the rules will become clear. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy the Pacta Crow. Okay, seriously England, why are we not playing this game?